Hi everyone, I'm Lawrence and in this video I'm going to talk about all Barbie games for the GBA. Barbie and the 12 Dancing Princesses is at first a basic platformer, but the more you progress, the more the platforming gets spiced up by different abilities. The more you progress in the game, the more princesses you unlock. You get a princess with a net with which you can attack enemies, then you unlock a princess with abilities like ribbons that act as bridges, or you get a princess that gets stills with which you can cross gaps, or shoes to move faster and jump higher and farther. The game doesn't sound like it's something, but it's very enjoyable and creative nonetheless. And original, because you have the many princesses, each with a different and original ability. Though I have to say that the method with which you switch princesses is a little bit finicky. You switch princesses by pressing the R button. And since there are so many princesses, in the moment when you want a specific princess to use her ability, it feels a little bit finicky to press R constantly until you get to that princess. But this is very minor and doesn't hinder the fun of the game. You get new stuff at a good pace. The game's levels are creative, the graphics are jolly and set up a good mood, which is also very relaxing, and you get minigames too. The only downside I could call would be that the game is only one hour long, which is short, but in Rust it's a great game that manages to be the typical platformer while also being innovative at the same time. In Barbie and the Magic of Pegasus, you explore the levels as Princess Annika to free up people turned into stone. You have to explore every corner of a level and use magic to get through levels in order to find all of the people turned into stone. But don't worry, it might sound complicated or it might sound like it's a chore or that it forces you to backtrack, but actually, the game is easy and shouldn't be challenging at all. There are four worlds to explore, each with three levels, and there are also some boss battles, some boss battle levels too. And in arcade mode, you can play eight minigames. Though those eight minigames can be split into actually two minigames, because you get four Pegasus levels and four Wand levels. The only difference is that you get four variants of Pegasus levels and four variants of Wand levels. I mean want minigames and Pegasus minigames. Barbie also has 5 costumes you can unlock and dress her in. The game is great, I had fun playing it. Barbie as the Island Princess is a long streak of minigames, none on which are particularly fun. The game still gets credit for variety, since in those 40 minutes the game has you never repeat anything, you jump from one minigame to the other, but overall the game felt dull, because the minigames weren't that interesting. They weren't broken nor clunky, but something about them felt cheap. I don't know how a kid will react to the games, maybe for a kid the games will be fun. But for me, as I said, something about the game felt cheap. Maybe it was the lack of polish, or that the minigames weren't particularly interesting. And at first I thought that the game isn't all that good. But then I stumbled upon Barbie Groovy Games, which has the same premise of playing minigames as Island Princess had, but the difference is that the minigames are horrible here. They are generic ripoffs of popular games like Tic-Tac-Toe, Bubble Buster or Snake. But the difference is that the games feel sluggish and unresponsive, and the game isn't polished at all to say it more nicely. And the game has only 9 of these horrible imitations. It has only 9 minigames. I don't recommend you play this game, nor you, nor your kids. It's playable. But there are better Barbie games on the GBA. Barbie Secret Agent is pretty good, considering it's a game made for little girls. In the game you have to be stealthy, and you can do that either by deploying your robot dog, or you can turn invisible, or you can throw smoke bombs. 
you can use your robot dog to draw the guard's attention, you can use a grappling hook, you get puzzle levels, horse levels, vehicular levels, levels underwater. The game is great for the target audience. It has variety and the gameplay is fun. The only complaint I have with the game are the graphics. They are ugly. The GB is way more capable than what the game pulled off. But in gameplay, it is fun. And maybe, but only maybe, even adults could enjoy the game. Barbie Horse Adventures is an isometric horse game. And just like most isometric games, it's not so good when it comes to controls. The controls are clunky and there is a delay between you jumping and the game registering the jump. Also collision in this game is terrible. You get damage without touching stuff and moving the horse through tight alleys can be finicky sometimes. There are 4 trails to race on and 4 race tracks and while racing you can also collect speed boosts that makes your horse run faster and power ups that add to your remaining time. The game also has 4 mini games which are fun. Overall the game is fun if you're into horse games and if you're willing to accept clunky unresponsive controls. Barbie as the Princess and the Pauper is pretty good. You get to play as 4 characters, each with special abilities. The princess has a pink shield, Erika can sing and touch objects above her with the musical notes, Serafina can climb up trees, and Wolfie can dig in the ground. And while playing you are assigned 2 characters and use their abilities to solve puzzles in the levels. You get 4 different locations and overall the game is great. It's overly simplistic but fun to play. I recommend it to your kids and even to you if you want to relax and play an overly casual game, which also sets up a relaxing mood. The Barbie Diaries High School Mystery is a detective game and unless you're the target audience, so a kid, you shouldn't play this game. It's overly simplistic and has a slow pace. You have to talk to people, break locks, arrange mail in a time limit, jump over obstacles and play other minigames while investigating and talking to a lot of people. For me the game felt slow and it annoyed me that it tossed many unnecessary obstacles just to make the game longer. But I'm an adult, I'm not the target audience for this game. But I could imagine a kid playing this game and enjoying it. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.